So friends, I am architect Sonu Rai from Greenland Scape and Architectural Design Studio, Glad Studio and today I am here with another video tutorial in Revit architecture and today I am going to discuss about how we will create a customized railing and a baluster in Revit architecture. So I will show you one by one I am going to show you how we will create a family of railings and now I am going to my architecture tab. And I'm going to this railing section and I will select this sketch path and now we will draw any simple railing so in properties I'm going to select this uh, handrail pipe and now I will draw a straight railing and we will finish this and we'll go to our view default 3d view and we you can see here this is our uh, normal railing so if you want to create your own design customized so you have to uh, do practice of, of creating family of railings and balusters so first i will show you how we will create this railing the horizontal things and uh, after that uh, i will show you how we will create a baluster so i am going to uh, this file you will select here file and you will go to new and you will select here family and now you will go to your family templates you will select english imperial if you are using uh, feet and inches and if you are using metric you will select metric uh, english metric so i am going to select english imperial and now we will uh, search for our rail profile so i am going to my uh, profile rail here and i am going to select this and now we will open this family so these are all profiles for creating families so for a rail profile you will select this profile rail so this is our floor plan reference level so this is in a plan view so we will create our railing profile first for this here it is given a line command so you will use to draw your shapes of railing so i am going to draw a simple shape uh, to just to understand and i will uh, go and draw a railing profile here I will draw here I will take this as 3 by 4 inch and now I will go this way and again I will go this way this will be some uh, bigger in size so we just need to understand what is uh, how we will create our family and I'm going to trim this off. So this is our profile. Uh, I'm going to uh, make a railing, make customize. So I'm going to save this. Control S, and I, I'm so going to show you on saving to our desktop. So I'm going to save it as a uh, residence railing. So I am going to save to this name. And now I am going to load, uh, select this load into project. So I am going to load this into this project. This is railing which we have drawn. And now I am going to select this railing. We will go to edit type. Now I am going to select this rail structure. For making changes into rail. So this is rail 1, 2 feet 6 inches. This one rail 2, 3, 4, likewise you can select. So I am going to select this rail 2 feet 6 inches which is this one. This is the top rail at 3 feet height. So this is called profile, circular profile 1 inch and material you can change it from here. So this is default 1 inch so I am going to select this. Now we will look for our family. This is residence railing which we have saved, saved in desktop. So it is automatically here. So I am going to apply and OK, apply, OK. So now you can see this railing is applied here and you can see in realistic view this railing is different from this one. This is our customized railing and likewise uh, you can change your uh, railing profile. And also uh, again I am going to show you how you will change in this railing for shelling this top rail you have to press tab command 
you will select this railing and you will unlock this here from here if this is pinned so we will unpin it and now i am going to edit type and you will change the profile of profile from here i am going to select this residence railing fly okay so this is top rail profile is changed likewise you can do this uh, for remaining also if you want you can do this uh, for rail structure so i am going to show you once more uh, rail to residence railing apply okay. apply okay so uh, this is the process of how we will uh, make our own customized railing profile so now i am going to show you how we will create our own customized baluster in revit so uh, for this i am going again here file and i am going to new tab and i am going to family and again i am going to select this english imperial and now we will select this baluster post we will open this and now i am going to my uh, view all floor plan view reference level of floor plan view and we will uh, draw the shapes of our extrusion uh, of baluster and uh, you can draw any shape so i am going to draw any simple baluster here i am going to select this one inch here and uh, i am going to take this any shapes baluster i am going to turn this off and uh, I'm going to finish this extrusion end at I'm going to make it as three feet apply finish this I'm going to save this as baluster five in the name of baluster five so I'm going to load this into project project two now I am going to 3D view and I am going to select this railing. You will go to edit type. Now I will select this uh, baluster placement and we will go to regular baluster, baluster round 1 inch. These are regular balusters 1 inch. So we I am going to change the profile from here and baluster 5 which we have saved on desktop is automatically here and now I am going to select this apply. Okay, apply. Okay. Now you can see this uh, is our customized baluster which is changed here. Apply to our uh, railings and these are the end balusters. So I am going to change this also. Edit. You can go to baluster placement again and you can change it from a start post if you want to make same or if you can create different also for this. Start post, apply. Okay, apply. Okay, so this is the start post, and you can likewise you can do, do for end post also and any uh, corner post also. So, this was the tutorial about how we will create our customized baluster profile and uh, railing profile in Revit. Likewise, you can develop your own skills and create beautiful balusters and railing profiles. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.